And we are live. Put the yellows set up. Um, quick disclaimer before we get started. I screwed up my laptop screen. So it's it's weird. There's only in one spot. There's like a weird um uh like cloudiness to my screen right where my webcam is. I I still have Apple Care or whatever. So when I get this fixed after exams, but um if, it's, if I'm a little bit foggy or something like that, I'm sorry. My screen screwed up. But um hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. I literally just got off the water. Not literally just I did I just got off from putting my boat away for the season. Um, I know it's sad to say middle of October and, um, I'm putting my boat away, but yeah, the boat is fogged up, um, ready to be stored in the garage and, uh, don't worry guys, I'm still going to be fishing. I'm going to talk about that here in just a little bit. Let's quickly go to the chats. Um, Casey, welcome to your first live stream. Uh, Derek. And yeah, so the weather in Ontario right now, we have a huge cold front. Um, today, I was like bundled up in like Under Armour sweaters. I had my uh, full set of bibs on, like too cold. Um, but like tomorrow, it's supposed to be t-shirt weather pretty much. So it's, Ontario weather is kind of weird right now. Kind of weird right now. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, Will, how's it going? Makes you look tan. I don't know. I don't think I tan today. Maybe, maybe it's the shirt and the hat. They're light colors. That's probably why I look a little tan. Uh, still no SLX on any of your videos. I have been using it. Don't worry. I actually filmed a couple of videos of the SLX today. I'll get those up soon. I filmed an updated um, uh, opinion slash review video, I guess you could say. I've been using it for over a month now. Mind you, I haven't been fishing, you know, two, three times a week like I used to, but... Uh, you guys will see that video soon. Why no Patreon? I haven't set that up. I haven't really looked in into setting it up either. Um, open water season is over. Not over yet. We got some fish today. People are still on some fish. It's not over yet. It's not over until December 3rd or December 1st, whenever it closes. Let's talk swim baits. If you guys have any swim baits questions, let me know. I'm probably not the best person to ask. I've only been a swim bait fishing for since June, I guess, right? So I'm not the best person to ask, but I do have a, a small amount of knowledge on swim baits. I'm actually, my swim baits are all actually here. I'm drying them out because there's like my box got wet <laughs> in the rain today. So all my swim baits, literally all of my swim baits are soaked. I don't want the hooks to rust or anything like that. So they're all here drying out. Uh, it's the steelhead is starting. River Reaper fishing. I got my pin rod Friday. Got my pin rod Friday. Um, I'm buying a pin off my buddy that upgraded this year. So I have my setup ready to go. I actually may go steelhead fishing Saturday. To be honest with you guys, I've been more excited for steelhead than I've been for bass recently. And um, I don't know why. I think it's just the whole idea of it being new and all that stuff to me. That I'm really, I'm really, really excited to go steelhead fishing. Like I cannot wait. Hopefully, I can get out this Saturday. Um, the thing is, I know nothing about like river, creek, steelhead, salmon fishing or whatever. So um, I'm going out with my buddies that have been steelheading previously, so I can you know try to learn off them. Because if I go there by myself. I don't know what I'm doing right, so hopefully my buddy can also go Saturday, because if not, then we'll have to figure something else out. Uh, do you have a River CS waiver? Yes, sir. My first swim bait fish came off this guy right here. This is the 168 size in that trout color. Great swim bait, great swim bait. Do you fish your swim sets with a jig hook or weedless like an EWG? My swim baits. So it just kind of depends what I'm fishing. When I'm fishing, um, you know, the 3.8 inch, 2.8 inch, 3.8 inch rhythm waves, I'm mostly targeting smallmouth. And I'm usually fishing sand, rock, grass transitions. And I prefer the FOPA head in those cases. I like, I like um, slow rolling my swim baits on the bottom. And they don't get hung up as easily. And they have a nice, like, wobble to the body with those football heads. 
from fishing through grass, from fishing near docks, etc., then I'll fish uh, an EWG. But mostly it's um, uh, football head, football head jig hook. And I've actually bought a couple uh, different styles of heads that I tried out this weekend. Um, I don't know if I'm a fan yet. I, I kind of like them. I don't have them with me. Oh, I do. You know what? This head right here. I have it with me. This is... I threw this this weekend. This is an owner um, stand-up head, I think. It's kind of like a football head, except it's more deflective. Uh, I think it's a little bit harder to get hung up. I threw that around a little bit. It doesn't have the same action as a football head, obviously, but I do like it. I do like it a lot. Um, I haven't had it hung up, so so that's good. But I have a bunch of just, like, stuff in here. I was like I was like I packed up really quickly today, so I have a bunch of stuff laying around. Um, what would you use for big pike in the winter? In the winter, you mean through the ice? I have never fished pike through the ice, but I know a lot of people use live bait. Steelhead catching cook. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know. Get Aaron to teach you. I was going to go salmon fishing, when was it, Wednesday, but we had a huge, like, downpour Monday and Tuesday, and the rivers were all, you know, mucky and really high, so we didn't end up going. Why don't you try the smaller swim baits like the shell crackers? Uh, to be honest with you guys, I've been buying, I haven't necessarily been buying, I've been on a bunch of, like, swim bait um, Facebook chats, like, groups, where people buy and sell, and... I bought like I bought this rat used like last week. It's a Spro 50, just to get a rat because I wanted a rat. Um, pretty cool for pike in the in the springtime, I think as well. But I think if I buy anything else, it'll be from there. Maybe other than you know, like this guy here, which are pretty hard to find in a good shape, and they're not over. These guys sell like crazy on the on the group chats, and they're so overpriced, it's nuts. But you gotta do what you gotta do with your need, right? But uh, Shellcracker is on the list. I just haven't really found one that I liked, and I haven't really, you know, went onto the websites and looked for them and all that stuff. But I think I'm kind of done buying this fall. I do want to. I, wa I do want a bull shad. I may buy one before winter. But other than that, I'm gonna try to calm down on the buying a little bit. <laughs> you can only throw one bait at once, right? Uh, fish spoons for trout. Good to know. Oh. I have a quick question for you guys. So I've been fishing uh, urban creeks and ponds, like urban as in like right through the city kind of deal. I go to school in a city, so um, I don't have my boat with me, but I do have my car, so I'm able to drive to creeks, rivers, and able to drive to ponds. But um, if any of you guys fish creeks slash rivers for bass, specifically smallmouth, or pike, let me know in the comments after this live chat or like DM me or email me any tips to find smallmouth in creeks. Um, <laughs> me, like we found them, but I just, I just need to, you know, learn a little bit more on the areas to look for them and all that stuff. But any tips, let me know. It would be greatly appreciated because it's the, it's what I'm going to be fishing the most now, pretty much. How is school? Well, school is great. <laughs> oh, I have midterms. I forgot to mention this. I have midterms, uh, ex exams, midterms coming up next, starting this week, actually, starting next week. Um, starting, yeah, starting next week. So next couple of weeks, pretty much to the end of October, I will not be extremely active on my social media just because I'm trying to get good grades. So uh, don't be surprised if I don't post, you know, two times a week or whatever I do on YouTube or on Instagram and all that stuff, just midterms, <laughs> midterms, midterms, midterms. Are you sponsored by Shimano? Yes, I am on the Shimano Canada Pro Staff team. This is my second year. Where do you get all your swim baits? Uh, I'm trying to get into it. Um, how do I get into swim baits? I just, I think I saw a couple of videos online of people getting overly excited with catching big fish on swim baits. My first swim bait I bought, my first swim bait I got, I actually won this, was the Mag uh, Slow. I haven't caught a fish on it yet. Then I bought my first glide bait and my first like bigger paddle tail and all that stuff. But um, 
that was one of the main reasons I got into it, just searching for bigger fish and searching for that, like, adrenaline rush, I guess you could say. But I've been throwing, you know, three to six-inch swim baits since I started bass fishing. So this was just kind of like a step up, I guess you could say, um, in the tackle part of it. But, I mean, they're also really cool to collect. I don't know. I, like... <laughs> I don't know if I want to catch a bass. I'll probably catch a pike on it, but I mean, it's cool. And I learned this weekend these these guys calm babies down. Um, three month old was mesmerized by this rat right here, so they are also good for calming down babies. <laughs> uh, sorry guys, I am way behind. Forget the smallies, go for pike. I know, I just don't know where to look for pike. My pike knowledge is like. <laughs> all the way down here. So, uh, what do you use for trout? Uh, two steelhead I have caught have been on beads and row. What is your favorite lure? Wow. I'm actually going to make a video on this. I'm going to make a video on my most productive lure of this year. And I'm going to leave that for the video, but it, it's a swim bait. <laughs> Corrado 70 or the Corrado K? Oh, I like the Corrado K more, to be honest with you guys. Corrado 70 is nice and small, but you can't really, you know, go long bomb points with a 70. A Corrado K is just more, much more versatile. I do like my 70 on my jig rod, though. It's uh, it's awesome. <laughs> would you do? Would you like to do YouTube full time? At the moment, no. But I mean, you never know where life's gonna take you, right? So. <laughs> I know a bunch of spots near Guelph. DM me. <laughs> DM me. I went, me and my buddy Colin, we probably hit up six different ponds and probably five different creek areas in one day. We ended up catching probably, I don't know, seven fish in total. You guys will see that video later this week, I think. But um, I just have no idea what I'm doing. It's it's kind of fun just going in not knowing what to do. But um. It's also kind of hard just because I'd be on Google Maps looking like down the creek, looking for pools, looking for deeper water. And then we get there and the whole, whole land's private. There's houses on it like I didn't see on Google Maps. So it's just kind of hard to find accessible spots, I guess you could say. We found a bunch of ponds. Um, we didn't catch anything in ponds, the six ponds we went to. But uh they look good. They look good. I may go back there with like a swim bait or something one day, but we'll see. Um, do you have any trips planned? Yes, I have a big musky trip planned. Not big, but it's big because I'm super excited. My buck, I, I have yet to catch a musky, guys. My number one bucket list fish is a musky. And I was promised, I'm not going to try to jinx it, knock on wood, but musky lake st Clair musky oh i'm so excited guys i'm so excited this is gonna be in november though when it gets cold and they're they're munching just fish just fished elephant lake and baptiste for pike i haven't i haven't fished there before i know there's big pike in there though there's um there's musky in there too i think is there not smallmouth no, let me do you have plans to travel for fishing? Um, this is a part-time thing for me, so I don't, number one, I don't get a lot of money, and number two, I have to focus my time on school right now, so um, the money part's pretty much, like, I'm a, I'm a student. I don't have spare money to go around. Um, it wouldn't be an issue to, you know, get a guide or anything like that, I don't think. I think the issue is just the the plane rides but during the winter I usually go on a trip and then last year after school I went on a bass trip to Florida so maybe we'll see we can do that again but it just kind of depends it depends hopefully this winter we can do something though because I will not be able to stand the cold I can tell you guys right now uh musky let's go yes yes SLX or casitas SLX 100% SLX. I actually have a Casitas here. Like, after using the SLX, I can't I can't pick this up and be like, oh, this Casitas is amazing. Like, Shimano outdid themselves. $100 for the SLX. You, you guys will see that review video soon. Though. I'm telling you guys. Go to store. 
pick one up, compare it to different models, different brands, um, the same at the same price point. That's like just pretty solid, pretty solid. How far out in Lake Ontario were you, were you when you caught those small uh, 40 minute boat ride. It took us 40 minutes to get out there. Are you in school? Yes, I am in school. I am in school. Oh no. Let's turn that phone off. Are you going to do some ice fishing? Yes. I'm not. Um, ice fishing probably isn't my favorite thing to do. It's a nice pastime just because I can't really do anything else. But um, I ice fish. I ice fish. Hopefully we can get on Lake Simcoe for some big lake trout once again. That was a lot of fun. Rebel Tiny Carraza Creek Smalley Killer. Is that a crankbait, a tiny little crankbait? I may have heard of that before. Have you gone salmon fishing? No, I have not. I have yet to catch a salmon in the rivers. Plans flopped last week, but it's okay. Maybe we'll find time before um, before they're all that's all done, but we'll see. Yeah, it's a tiny little crankbait. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I don't know if we have them here. I'm sure some small moms and pop shops will have them around still. Are you going to go to Florida fish? I hope so. I love Florida. I love Florida. Um, Florida's crazy. It's it's weird because it's a whole different kind of... You have to look at it differently when you're fishing compared to up here. Because, you know, here, largemouth are pretty much all in Ontario. Largemouth grass, smallmouth, deeper points. In in Florida, it was, it's all grass. It's literally all grass. So you have to find what's not grass. It was weird. It's cool. I liked it a lot. Um, I went I went out with uh, Garrett the whole week and uh, I learned some from him. He hopefully learned something from me, from my northern ways, but that was a lot of fun. I like Florida a lot. Should come to Maine and fish. No plans right now for Maine. No plans for Maine. Um, I'm gonna keep this going for another 10 minutes or so. So if you guys have any more questions, leave them down below. Um, just This was just mainly like, a, like an update live stream for you guys. I haven't done one in a while, but updates again, midterms starting next week. So I'm not gonna be on social media that much. Um, bass is pretty much, bass fishing on my boat's pretty much done. I may still go out with a couple of guys um, in the fall, hopefully. But bass is going to be taking, you know, going downwards and trout will be going upwards. So hopefully you guys like these trout videos. I'm way too excited, guys. I'm so excited. So excited. And it's a lot more accessible to me where I live right now, too, which is awesome. Uh, any tournaments in the near future? Uh, no tournaments planned. No tournaments planned. I was actually going to jo uh, join um, a club this year, but... I don't really think I have enough time to do a club, to do the club series as a co-angler or something like that. But I don't know, maybe next year. I would learn a lot for sure. It's just I want to be able to keep up with my videos and everything else I do. I work, so <laughs> I don't know if I would have the time. Would you recommend the Bantam? 100%. 100%. It's a great reel. Um, it's a little bit more square shaped, I guess you could say, than most reels. So you have to get used to that, but it's the most solid reel I have ever used. It's like, it's crazy sensitive. I don't know if, I don't know if you guys notice when you're fishing bait casters with some reels, maybe more sensitive than others, and you'll come to the reel, the bantam you do. It's, it's cool, it's cool. What career would you like to pursue outside of fishing? I am in school for biomedical science, and I like to go into the, like, the healthcare spectrum of things. <clears throat> Do you ever use live bait? When was the last time I used live? I used live bait in Florida once. That was the last time I used it. That was back in May. We used live bait in a pond because we couldn't catch anything. We went to like my friends most productive pond like multiple six seven eights like back to back to back to back of course when we went there there was a cold front or what was it was it a cold front it wasn't a cold front i don't know why they weren't biting i think it was like after a storm or something i don't even know but we were there for a couple hours we were casting and it was just 
crazy hot out and we couldn't like stand so we went and, like go 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 got wow we went and got food and then we got live bait and came back and we caught a couple fish on live bait but that's the last time i used it by uh fishing every day have you ever fished the magpie in ontario no i have not i have no idea what that is wow i'm gonna quickly search that up that's kind of sounds like a cool is it like an area or something magpie ontario that's a bird <laughs> it's, it's showing me a bird i don't know i'll, I'll search it up later <clears throat> Uh, what lake do you fish in the most? I fish in the Kawarthas. Arizona White Mountains sometimes to trout fish. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be very cool. You can fix people and recommend swim baits to your patients. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, how does Shimano sponsorship work? So since I've been getting a lot of questions on the whole Shimano thing, um, I joined the Shimano team back in a year ago, two years ago, two years ago. I joined like two springs ago, I guess you could say. And um, it's just, a, it's a pro staff pa uh, partnership. So bass or trout, nothing will beat a smallmouth as of right now, as of right now. Mind you, the one steelhead I caught this spring <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was a blast. Highly recommend. Um, highly recommend. I'm, as you guys can tell, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Do you ever use Joe's flies spinners? I have no clue what that is. Um, but I don't really use spinners or flies, so I'm guessing no. Um, is water wet? I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, guys, five more minutes. Five more minutes. I don't want to make this too long in case people want to watch it afterwards. But um, it's still cool. I'll show people your videos on my tablet. They're mind blown when they tell me. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Do you like the E6X? I've owned, I don't own any E6Xs. I've used them for a couple of hours. Uh, for the price point, I recommend the Zodius. Uh, some of the E6Xs, the Zodius are much more, be are better tuned in my opinion. So, Magpie is a lake kind of between Durbarville and Wall. I have no clue where that is. Sorry, Jason. I have no idea. Um, ooh. Thank you, Michael Cross. But, um, yeah, so bass, like I said, bass videos are going to be going down a little bit, maybe until November, maybe get out, get out a couple more times, but um, trout will be coming back up. So all of you guys who like trout, more videos for trout. Trout's a lot more exciting, I think, too, just because you're pretty much like running after them. It's a lot more, you know, contact-based sport, I guess you could say. And I'm pretty excited just because I think I, I got a new uh, I got a new uh, center pin set up for that. So it's gonna be fun, you know, learning the ropes and learning the techniques and all that stuff. But I suck at trout fishing too. I suck at trout fishing too. That's why I'm not going out alone. <laughs> I was just about to ask about the Zodius. Yeah, the Zodius is 100% my favorite uh, lineup of rods I've ever used. They're super light, well balanced. A foam. When I first picked up the Zodius, I wasn't a fan of the foam, but it really um, brings down the weight of the whole rod. I am still a cork fan, I cannot lie. I love my cork, but um, well-balanced. And uh, they have a pretty soft tip, too, which I like. Try to more live stream. I will try. Well, I'll try. I'm just really busy right now. Will, no, I'll not need your rod this year. Maybe when I get good at steelhead fishing, I'll take you out, though. We can go out together. Go for some steelhead up where you live. <clears throat> Best beginner baitcasting combo. Best is kind of subjective 
to what you consider the best. I always recommend to one, buy the highest, buy the most expensive rod and reel you can because usually what you pay is what you get. And two, I recommend to go into a store and play around with rods and reels and see what you like. Because in the end, you're going to enjoy fishing a bait caster that feels better in your hand than some, you know, clunky, you know, heavy bait caster that you have to, you can't tune properly and something like that, right? So it just depends on your price point pretty much. You can buy a combo for $150, you can buy a combo for $200, you can buy a combo for $600. Just kind of depends, right? Is a 610 medium moderate, sorry, I lost my spot. A good jerkbait rod, yes, that's what I use. I use a 610 um, medium mod fast, I think, actually, the Zodius lineup. Only Trevor caught was on live grasshoppers. Other than that, strike out. Yeah, um, my biggest trout from my lake was on a fluke. I was fishing for perch. So uh, I got my first bait caster. Awesome, Will. That's awesome. The best real Shimano you you like? I'm guessing I'm guessing you're asking what's my favorite Shimano reel. Uh, bait casting. I like the Corrado K. Good price point, and it's very versatile, and it feels amazing, and um, it casts pretty far. Uh, the DC is pretty. It's awesome too. I like the DC a lot. It's. It's a lot easier to tune, too, which I like. You don't have to really worry about tuning your reel, and it casts a lot further than the K, but it just kind of depends what your preference is. I know a couple of you guys don't like the whole zing kind of deal, but the DC is awesome. I use the DC all day today, pretty much. And for spinning, uh, it's hard to beat a Stratic. I love my Stratic. Uh, do you ever fish the bank, and how do you feel about fishing off the bank? Uh, I have fished off the bank. I prefer to not fish off the bank. Uh, it also depends if you're fishing a lake or a pond. But totally two different things. In a pond, you can usually cast across, and in a lake, you cannot. I Have I fished a lake from the bank? I don't think I have fished a lake from the bank. But I have fished ponds. I don't mind fishing ponds, again, because I can cover most of the water. But uh, I do prefer, you know being in a boat or a kayak just you know you can be more productive in my opinion do i plan on doing any fly fishing um it's always on the list to learn how to fly fish a little bit better but it's not coming up anytime soon my biggest fish uh my biggest fish is the lake trout i caught in february from lake simcoe that's my biggest fish probably to date i'm trying to think no I caught a couple barracuda in Cuba that were pretty big, but I don't know if they're, they weighed more than my uh, lake trout. Looking forward to the trout videos and favorite fish to go fishing for. Awesome, Tristan. Talk about your more confident lure. Uh, my most confident lure, the lure I'm most confident in is this one, bait. This one exactly, actually. The Jackal Rhythm Wave. I don't know how many packs I went through this year of this guy, but... um. Caught me the most fish, caught me some of my, bigger, my biggest fish, and I I always have faith in this guy right here that's going to catch me a little, a little something, a little something, something. Even, like, the 2.8, this is a 3.8 inch. The 2.8 inch is about, like, an inch, an inch shorter, so about yay long. A lot thinner, too. Um, I've caught a bunch of walleye on it which is pretty fun. My first time catching walleye that I wasn't jigging for. And actually, uh, last week in the creeks on the 2.8 inch, we caught all of our smallmouth too, which is pretty cool. Um, out of the Zodiac spinning series, which is the best? They all look good. Um, it just kind of depends what you like. I prefer longer rods. I like 7.3s. My favorite right now is the 7.3 um, medium light plus. So it's a 7.3 fast action, medium light plus, so it has a little bit more backbone than a medium light. That's probably my favorite. Um, the seven foot medium moderate fast, I think it is. I've been using that reel, or sorry, that rod for ages, and I love it. It's really hard to lose a fish on it just because it has a really soft tip to it, but 
that's also really nice. It just depends what you like, right? I, I do like the 7-3, though. Uh, <clears throat> have you ever fished the Lower Niagara River or Upper Niagara River? I've never fished the Niagara River. I'm sorry. Maybe one day. When did you catch your biggest bass on? My biggest largemouth bass, uh, three or four years ago now. Wow, it's been a long time. It was, I was grade 11. Three years ago, more than three years ago, um, on a chatterbait. I still have the, ch I, I literally took the chatterbait out of the package, tied it on, like three casts later, boof, hook into a log. I can't move the thing. I'm fishing a Shimano Cellus, you know, like their $50 rod. I'm worried it's going to explode, right? I'm reeling this thing, re reeling it in, reeling it in, and I see its mouth open. I'm like, get the net, get the net, right? Um, my buddy nets, gets the net, nets the fish. I could literally stick my head in this fish's mouth. It was post-spawn fish. It was um, late June when bass opened. It was opening day. The fish had a huge head and no body to her. Weighed 575 on a chatterbait. And um, my biggest smallmouth I caught this time last year on Lake Simcoe. And that was a fight for sure. That was 580. Uh try true bass big swim baits is that a company i've never heard of them do more of these okay i'll do more lives i'll try i don't know about the next couple of weeks just because i have midterms everywhere it's crazy i have like five midterms in like 14 days it's gonna be it's gonna be nuts but we'll we'll be able to get through it uh you have never caught have you ever caught a muskie no no i have not Hopefully, that will change this coming November. We will see. Looking to purchase a Shimano D Car Carado DC, is it worth it? 100% worth it. Um, it depends what you're going to use it for, though. I, I don't know if you guys have watched my video. It's a crazy reel if you're throwing light lures. You can cast light lures a mile into the wind, with the wind, everywhere wind um little weightless swim baits like this you can bomb it out there crazy frog and reel too um i highly recommend especially i especially recommend it if you're just getting in to bait casters because you switch that dial up to four you're not going to backlash and you learn how to use a bait cast which is pretty cool but um highly recommend for sure especially if you're throwing like crank baits swim baits pretty much anything to be honest but i see it it, it excels you get the, the most advantage with it when you're throwing lighter lures, in my opinion. You will have fun in Florida when you get the 10-pound bass down there. Oh, my gosh. That'd be crazy. I wish. Hopefully soon. Favorite YouTuber. Oh, man. I haven't been watching YouTube, to be honest with you guys. I have not been watching YouTube. Um, wow. Is Peric still doing those cool videos? I liked I liked the whole tour thing Peric did, like up north to Canada. I liked that a lot. That was cool. And I watched, I think, one of John's John B's trout videos, which is cool too. Go to lure for bass. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. So yummy. So so yummy. Good luck on midterms. Thank you, Justin. And on that note, I'm gonna end this live stream. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, don't be afraid to email me, DM me, leave comments down below. I'll do my best to get to all of you guys. Um, next video will be out later this week, so stay tuned for that. Um, we're almost at 20K subscribers as well, which is pretty crazy. And I'll be doing a giveaway once we hit 20K, so stay tuned for that once again. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this live stream and I'll see you guys in the next one.